Kenya, the investments are being made mainly in, in thin wall. Uh, and what we've done there is we've gone with uh, a single source contract with Upfields, a company that we do a big chunk of business with regard to the margarine tubs. Uh, we've invested in some equipment that is going to convert our thin wall business into what we call IML, in-mold labeling business. So the machines that we, the, the robotics that are required for the in-mold labeling have been uh, bought. In fact, they should be installed in Kenya at, at the end of February. And what we've agreed with, with Upfields on the blue band uh, um, uh, brand is that we will be in a, a single source supplier. So that means that at the moment we are currently having a dual source arrangement where the Upfields business is being split between South Africa and one, possibly two other suppliers. Uh, now South Africa will enjoy the, the full volume of Upfields, which is good, which will be a significant increase in our, in our again, in our consumer rigid, our consumer rigid packaging um, in Kenya. And that will uh, have see quite a good expansion in our volumes this year. Um, further to that, we are also looking at putting up warehouses in or our own warehouse in additional space uh, in, in in Kenya. So we're looking to put up about uh, a 4,000 square meter warehouse in Kenya um, on our existing land, which will then be able to, uh, you know, far better handle our, our inflows of raw materials because as we expect to grow the business, obviously logistics increases and so the flow of materials needs to be catered for. So that's primarily what we're doing in Kenya. Um, on the other side of, of on, on the agricultural side in Kenya, we're doing fantastically well. We've done a we've done an incredible um, introduction into the agro agri, agricultural exports of avocados. Um, that has been probably the biggest growth in our in 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 the organization's history. So we've done we've gone from zero to almost three thousand tons of product of crates in in a matter of two years. Uh, 